Welcome back to the Automotive Blockchain channel, everyone. Hey, I want to thank the 95 people who have subscribed so far to this channel. I really would appreciate it if you would just go ahead and crush that like button and then also subscribe. Uh, I'm really looking forward if I could get your help to get over the centennial mark. And don't forget to share the videos. If you do like them, pass them on. All right, so today we are going to be talking about what if you could mine crypto while driving your car? And also we will touch base on how digital IDs are transforming the way people drive. And we'll talk about one country that is putting this into practice. Let's get this thing started. So what if you could mine crypto coins with your car's excess energy and use it to pay for fuel? I found this article um, by Yanko Design. Uh, for those of you that are over in uh, Europe, this company is out of Norway. And uh, it's a pretty cool concept that they have here. It's called Fuel Pay. And it is a actually kind of like a Kickstarter. So this is a launch backer. But I do like the technology. So just kind of listen in. It's kind of neat, especially for those people out there that like to commute or go on these long drives. So here it is. In theory, Fuel Pay is an innovative and mildly outrageous as a cryptocurrency as they start out. Cryptocurrency mining room heater. Getting right into it. Your car, be it gasoline powered or, uh, or an electric one, gives off energy when driving. The fuel pay device uses that energy, energy to validate cryptocurrency transactions in return for a reward. The exact amount of reward for each individual validation varies, as it is based on a floating reward percentage and the exchange rate of the currency. And although it may, it may not be enough to entirely subsidize your fuel costs, it's a small yet pretty price, uh, yet pretty interesting source of passive income that can be used with the Fuel Pay Visa debit card you get along with the kit. The setup costs about 196 US, US for the electric edition. Comes with the Fuel Pay box that connects directly to your car's cigarette socket and to your phone's Bluetooth. Scrolling down. FuelPay Box is powered by a newer, more sustainable blockchain technology, and they're talking about um, proof of stake, that allows each device to run on the same amount of energy as a light bulb, using a small amount of otherwise untapped energy to make sure consumers don't shell out too much of their hard-earned money on fuel. So over on their launch backer site, and for those of you that are uh, not familiar with these type of sites, I didn't know what this was either. It is launch backer. So it's kind of like a Kickstarter that I would see here in the US. Um, this is a Norwegian company, but I wanted to scroll down and links will be in the description so you can see the video about it. And that is about fuel pay, uh, how fuel pay will pay for itself within a few months. It's kind of like a no brainer. So you can see here the yearly mileage, and this is, this is, just, this is just an example calculation. The yearly mileage is 12,500. The fuel type in this case is going to be gasoline. The fuel price parameter, about $1.80 per gallon. So even though this is a Norwegian company, they're kind of calculating this out uh, for US standards. So this is $1.80 per gallon. The fuel consumption in miles per gallon is 20. So after five year, years of payouts, and you do the math there, you basically would be rewarded about $5,625. So that is kind of pretty sweet, you know, it is a little bit of a passive income. I know if you average it out over a five year period and or divide it by five, you're like, okay, that's what, a little over a thousand dollars. But, um, you know, you have to think about it this way is that, uh, you know, that's your, your cups of coffee throughout the, uh, throughout the year. So. Uh, there you go on that. So that is fuel pay. Let me know what you think of in the description about that as we move on to the decentralized ID. So how a decentralized ID platform could transform driving forever. So a company by the name of Ontologies Americas has rolled out a flagship product. The product is called Ant ID. Ant ID uses blockchain and cryptographic technology to identify and connect identities and assets. And according to the company, its single sign-on approach offers a compelling alternative to the antiquated landscape we see at present, where usernames and passwords are, are used to access online services. Aunt ID can be used as a unified account and helps users to keep data in their own hands. Other applications include issuing graduation certificates, academic transcripts, meaning credentials are easier to verify. So in a recent video uh, uh, titled Drive with Ontology, it showed how the Aunt ID could be used um, to unlock a car and secure 
record driver data. The app would enable vehicle sharing between ONT users, allowing insurance claims after accidents to be settled via smart contracts. So here's a little clip in the video um, that they have with this drive with ontology that shows this. Hi guys, my car is available right now. The app allows vehicle sharing and accepts requests for the vehicle automatically. Alex has a high ONT score. I'm okay to lease my car to him. Another aspect of this is and even enable motorists to pay for road permits. So when I see this, which give them higher priority over drivers, to me, that's more so talking about in a scenario where there is a smart city infrastructure already put in place. It may have something to do with uh, easy pass networks, you know, where you have the little module so you can pay for uh, going in specialized lanes. I don't know what they call them in Europe, but here they're called easy passes or sun passes, etc. Another aspect of this is tech integrations with Ethereum, Near, Binance Smart Chain, Celo, Clayton, and Tron have all been unveiled. The scope of all this, what they really are looking for is cross-chain functionality is a priority for Ontology, uh, which wants its de decentralized ID, Dade, died? <laughs> decentralized ID framework to be unveiled on, or excuse me, be available on any chain. So that is Ontology. Let me know what you think of that. I want to see where your thoughts are on being able to have another kind of share your vehicle. It's kind of like in the US where they have the Airbnb um, where you can share your house, in this case, you share your car. So putting something like this with decentralized, or excuse me, digital IDs as far as your car is concerned, here is a country, South Korea. And when I think about this, this, uh, this article was also in Cointelegraph. When I think about this, I consider on how some of these Asian countries such as Korea, China, you know, Thailand, they are so far ahead with implementing uh, real world use cases of blockchain into their day to day society much more than the US is. Um, I have a number of reasons why that is. I won't get into that in this video, but let's move on. One million South Koreans have foregone their physical driver license in favor of a blockchain powered digital alternative used in conjunction with the PASS smartphone app. This represents about 3% of the entire driving population of South Korea, which has about 32.6 million uh, licensed drivers. So the legally recognized ID solution can also be used for identification and proof of age requirements, such as at convenience stores, buying liquor, and, and retail chains selling cigarettes and alcohol. Uh, users show their license via barcode or QR code on the pass app. And just here's something quick to note, non-Korean residents receiving English versions of their licenses. So uh, the non-Koreans living there in Korea could also use this. South Korea is definitely pro blockchain. As many of you know, that is about South Korea. The, this article just kind of closes out with saying that Australia's blockchain based license. So South Korea is not the only country to look into transitioning existing licenses to digital formats on the blockchain. Um, Australia NSW government announced the trial of Ethereum based digital licenses, which can be replacing the physical ones. So that wraps up this video, everyone. Please go ahead and hit that like button. Get me up over the 100 subscribers. I really would appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.